So, of course, this is a teddy bear. One balloon, picked orange for absolutely no reason at all, but we're gonna put it together. When you're doing this, if you wanna take the nose off there when you're done, that's okay. Or the end of the nose, we'll say. Once again, I'm gonna use my um, red Qualitex balloon pump. There it is. I'm gonna put four pumps of air in this balloon. So we put it on the pump. One, two, three, four. Pull it off. As I say, I like the uh, the pump. It's, it's really good for, for beginners. So I'm playing with the nozzle here just a bit. The, the nice thing about that pump, you can put the same amount of air in every single balloon. And, and as a beginner, that's always something you have to think about. How much air do you need? So four pumps to make a teddy bear. Okay. We're going to slightly soften the, uh, the nose, or what will be the nose. And we're going to do about, uh, we've got about six fingers right there. And the six fingers, well, that becomes the nose here and it comes out the back of the head. And then we do the five bubble combination for the back of the head. So we're going to do about four fingers. That's about four fingers. Then we're going to do a, a round bubble right there. So that's about two fingers. Now myself, I like to make the head a triangle. If you want to make this longer, you can. If you want to make it shorter, you can. But I make it pretty much the same size as, as this one here. And then we do another round bubble. So we've got, so far, we've got our nose, the side of the head, an ear, the top of the head, an ear. And then we're going to do the side of the head. So those should be about the same size. You know, close enough is good enough when it comes to balloons. And we're going to push the, the head, or the, sorry, the, the, the nose, through the back of the head. And then here we're going to do a pinch twist. Now for those of you that don't know what a pinch twist is, we're going to put this knot and that knot into the same spot. So we're going to grab the bubble, we're going to pull and twist. Okay. And there we go. So that's one ear twist. You can, you can see what we've done there. And then when I do this one, I, I push the head over a little bit because when we twist did this ear, it pushed the, the face over to the opposite side. So I push the face up against the other side of the head and then we do the exact same thing. We're going to grab the balloon, we're going to pull it, and, and we're going to twist it. And there is our second ear on the head. And also oh, show you again, sorry we're dropping that one right there. That is currently where we are, are very similar. I guess this one we have to bring the nose down a little bit. There, now we're now we're the same. So then we're gonna do the the um, the neck right there, and then I do what what I would refer to as soft dog legs. So we're gonna do our twist right there. So that's our neck. Then we're gonna soft and twist and soft and twist again right there. And then that is that's like our teddy bear right there. But what I do is I twist these two legs, so we push them in, almost like a flower petal twist, push them in, and I twist the, uh, the, the body over the legs, that's just what I do, if you, wanted, if you wanted to twist the legs, that would work fine, and then we're looking at this, I have just a little bit of uh, uninflated, and that's good enough, and I have to do like the, the calculation to make sure with, with what I have here, that I have enough for the body, for two legs, and a little bit of a tail, okay? Now, I, I know I have enough, but eventually, you know, for the, for the very beginner, that's something you have to think about. So we're gonna do our body. Oh, and I like to make these about as big as, you know, I like to have my, I like to have my legs and arms, or arm and arm, whatever you wanna call it, the same size, or very close to. So, there we've got that. So the easy way to figure out this part, we give it a bit of a squeeze, then we're going to make sure that we have enough right here so that we have a bit of a tail. And we're going to twist where the, the fold was. Let's try that again. And then you can see that's my fault. There. Got my twist there. I'm trying to hold it so you can see. Right there. We're going to make our, our other twist right, at, right near the end of the boom, but that allows us to have a tail. Okay. Tie that in, 
and that is also like doggy legs. Now if you've really messed up your, your dimensions and you don't have enough balloon here to make uh, legs, then just tell them the teddy bear is just sitting with his legs out front. But this one we will twist, so we're going to once again pull them in and, and we twist. We twist our legs around whatever way will work. There is your teddy bear. When I'm looking at this, I think I should have made this a little smaller, but that's me. If you like a longer teddy bear, I kind of like the short compressed one. And then put the eyes on it, and if you care, cut the, the end of the nozzle off. Anyway, simple teddy bear uses four pumps of the balloon pump. Here, I'll show you again, and have a wonderful day.